I have my components like input matching network C1 is 0.9 picofarad and usually you put an optimization when you want to optimize the circuit. Same thing with this resistor. You optimize it and that's the range of optimization. So all the components that have optimizations, I can run sensitivity analysis on them very easily. So once you have the, your circuit already set up to do optimization, all you have to do is in the optimization controller, which you already have in your setup, you double click on it and notice instead of choosing random, gradient, all these optimization algorithms, the last one is sensitivity. So you can just access sensitivity and automatically it will even, it will ignore the optimization and it will run uh, the sensitivity analysis for you on this circuit. So all you have to do here is hit simulate and once you simulate the circuit, so it's going through the calculation and let me reduce the size here and here are the results and let's zoom on the results. So this is the normalized sensitivity for the gain. And notice the normalized sensitivity, it's telling me that resistor R1, output matching network resistor R1, is sensitive negatively. That means the gain drops down as the resistor goes up higher in value by 1%. Okay, this is the normalized sensitivity and it's clearly showing to you the red X or the most sensitive element being the output matching network resistor R1. Same thing we do for the noise figure and notice the biggest one that's affecting the noise figure is the 10 micron width of line and the input matching network has 10 micron wide uh, lines. So it, those 10 micron wide narrow lines in the matching network at the input happens to affect the noise figure. So what you really want to do is maybe maybe you want to change your matching network at the input using a thicker lines or different uh, topology. And the same thing here, we look at the output match S22 and we notice here the different components with the different sensitivity to the output matching network. So we notice output matching network C1, capacitor C1, has some effect on the output matching network. And we notice even the 15 micron wide lines have some effects. And it happens the output matching network has a 15 micron wide lines. Okay, so basically this is how you would do it. And then you can plot the same thing using the, see here's the normalized, and if you look further, right here, the optimum gain noise figure, and this is the absolute um, sensitivities. So you can plot them as well for the gain, the noise figure, and the output match. But in this example, I showed you the normalized uh, response, the sensitivity of the normalized, because I recommend it for designers. It just gives you more meaningful results. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I encourage you to watch the other videos too on yield sensitivity histogram, on design of experiments, and in general, you know, the DFM methodology, the introduction to DFM videos. Because all together, once you see these videos and understand them and use them in ADS, because this example is in ADS, it will really help you a lot to manufacture design and manufacture circuits that will make it the first pass with high yield that will end up reducing the cost of your mimic chip. So thank you again for watching this video.